Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so I have a big, big box today and I'm really excited because I haven't ordered from Body Bon Bon in like six months or something. So I've got a lot of goodies in here and I'm just, I'm really excited. Um, okay, I guess we'll just get started, but I also have like a few other things I wanna share with you while I'm getting into this box. So first, let's look at the top of it. Okay, so I, also, I wanted to tell you guys, I ordered this like, it, this was shipped. I ordered it just a few days before it was shipped. I got this in 10 days. Like, I don't know, maybe even like nine days. I was, I can't believe it. The last time I ordered it took, um, not quite four weeks, but I think that she's changed her shipping methods or whatever. And I couldn't believe it. When this came to my door, I was like, what in the world is that? Like, who did I order such a big... Um, box from but then I couldn't believe it came from her so quickly because obviously she's in Australia which is like on the other side of the world but I was just so so excited to receive this so quickly from her because I just wasn't expecting that so okay so this looks like it is okay this is a face mask and I did not actually put this in my order so this is really cool so she makes face masks too so this is looks like a little something extra that she added in so I cannot wait to try this now I do not have the best skin in the world, so this is going to be a real treat for me. That's awesome. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let me just move this back. Okay, so we're going to start putting our goodies. Let's see, I'll start putting them right there. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to have to let you guys know how that face mask is. Okay. Now she's gotten, um, she started to make some new products since I ordered from her last. So there are a couple of things in here that I wanted to order last time and I didn't because I couldn't order the whole shop. And um, then there's some new things that I've had my eye on for a while that I decided to go ahead and just bite the bullet and place another big order to make it worth the shipping, of course. Okay. Let me just pull this out. Okay. Okay. This looks so cool. Okay. So this is her, she calls it liquid metal. And this just looks like, it looks like it's just going to be like a, just a big pot of dust. But what this is, it just looks like the water is going to be just this really deep color with just this, when I say shimmer, it just like, this looks like it's going to be like liquid metal. Now I've got two of these. And um, this one is going to be, I think, like a deep, dark indigo. Um, just totally, totally shimmery, kind of um, metallic. That's the word I'm looking for. Not like shimmer or luster, but a metallic color. Now, I don't know what it's going to do in my tub. I hope that doesn't, like, water it down too much. I'll try not to put too much water in the tub, and, um, and we'll see. Now, this one... Okay, now this one is called Bruised Ego. I don't know if you could see that. And um, and they are scented. Let me pull up the scents real quick too. And this one is called Obsidian. This one is supposed to be like almost black, silvery, I think. Um, I think these are gonna be so, so pretty. Um, okay, so the scents on those, the Bruised Ego is, um, they might be the same, I'm not sure, but I think they're supposed to be like a, some kind of berry, like a black cherry, or um, I don't know, some kind of some kind of dark kind of berry scent. I'm not exactly sure, but um, <clears throat> I think those are just going to be pretty. Now I haven't really seen anybody have anything like that before, and um, Irene is just completely. She's so creative and she's so talented. So I just I love getting things from her. Now, this is actually why I decided to go ahead and place another order specifically because I know that you guys have heard me talk about her sugar scrubs before, and this is the one that she sent me last time. She just kind of stuck this in my order, um, like the face scrub last time, and it's turned out to be one of my very, very favorite sugar scrubs, and this is called Oh My Darling. Um, this, to me, smells like an oatmeal cookie, some bakery good, smells so good and it's super exfoliating it's got really big grains of sugar the granules are really big so it's really exfoliating but it's super super moisturizing it's oh my gosh 
it's just it's emulsified and it's just it doesn't whip up it's not like super soapy i mean it does get there toward the end but it's just i love it i got two of these two of these because i don't want to run out of this um anytime soon so i don't know um where the other one is hiding but i got two of those okay now this is one um, a bath bomb that I have been waiting for her to um, restock because I wanted it last time I placed my order and she didn't have any more and I'm so excited I think this from what I have seen I've seen this demoed and she has the demo on her site I think on her YouTube channel and this is called boo and I wasn't able to get this in time for Halloween, but that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. I still have a plethora of Halloween bath bombs. So, like, if you're going to think you're going to miss the Halloween bath bombs or I'm done with those just because Halloween's over, no, no, no. Those will definitely be, be um, peppered throughout uh, November and probably even December because I'm still absolutely going to use them. I love them. I've still got just all kinds from different companies left that I still want to do. So this one is um, scented in blackberry and I think this is going to be really pretty and I think I got two of these as well. So I'm excited to finally get my hands on her boo bomb. Okay and this is another reason as well these little lip balms that I needed to go ahead and place another order because this is um she threw this in my order last time too. This scrub and the lip balm, and she's so cute. She calls them dim lips. Um, and it's just like my favorite lip balm. And I'm a lip balm junkie. I'm all, like I have one in my car, and my nightstand, my kitchen drawer, and my purse. Um, and it's just, it's super, super sweet. Um, I love the shape of it. It just, it smells really, really good. Um, if you guys have ever had any, I don't want to call it homemade lip balm, but um, it's just, there's some lip balms that they, they just glide on and they're really, really smooth. And I'm sure that there's some kind of, um, the there's a certain ingredient, I'm sure, that I love the way it glides on. And this is one of those that's just, it just feels super good on the lips. It's not greasy. It's not too... Um, too thick it's just awesome so I needed two of those for sure <clears throat> so whatever she whatever she makes hers with is just like my favorite kind of lip balm um and she's got a bunch of different scents too okay I'm gonna move this Okay, now here come the big ones. And she actually has these labeled on the bottom. So I know what these are, which is which is nice. Alright. Okay, okay, fingers crossed that these made it. These look like they're packaged really well. So I'm I'm hoping that these made it in one piece, but I bet you they did. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, this is her starburst. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's so, so pretty. Now she has said, um, it says on her website that this is one of her favorites. And she does mostly, I'm gonna say mostly, she does the cookie cutter. This is the cookie cutter style balm. And of course, I mean, her embeds are just, they're gorgeous. And from what I can tell, most of hers just do that really, really pretty spin pattern on top of the water. So I cannot wait to use this and I think this is scented in Japanese cherry blossom I think that's right so I'm not even gonna put that back in the box so and that's just going like right on my shelf so oh my goodness oh I smell that oh it's so pretty oh it's such a pretty pretty scent okay it's very very pretty okay All right, now, now when I asked her, um, I was asking her about my order and I said, do you have any, do you have any of these right now? And she's like, no, but I'll make some because I need to restock these anyway. And I was like, thank you. Cause these are, um, this is one that I wasn't able to get last time. I just, you know, I placed a big order and I couldn't order everything. And this is one that I really was hoping to get this time. <gasps> 
Yes. Oh, you guys. So, Hoot Hoot, the owl that I did last time is one of my favorite demos. It's just like one of the cutest bath bombs I've ever had. Um, I think that this would have to be its counterpart. This is her baby bug. It's, I know, I know it's going to be just just equally as cute. I know if I can do it as well as that one went off, I, it's perfect. Look how perfect it is. Now, she said these were a little uh, laborious to make. Because <laughs> um, look at it. Look how perfect it is. And I oh, I just cannot wait. This might be the first one that I do of hers. And I'm hoping to get one of these done within the week because I have a few lined up that I, that I want to do already. But um I don't know what this is scented like. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find this in the description. I'll have to ask her. Oh, love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, this one is heavy. Okay, now... My goodness this because it's got two in here okay now this one let me put this down for a second now this one okay now I'm not gonna know the scent description on this one um oh okay 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 it first of all it's called cashew inside which is hysterical she's got like the most adorable sense of humor it just cracks me up um and this is going to be really pretty i can tell it's heavy that's what was so heavy in there um it says i smell like a nutty kind of biscuity thing sort of like gingerbread mixed with vanilla and sugar and nuts or something along those lines that smells yummy maybe some cinnamon maybe that's so pretty mmm Oh, that smells good. It definitely smells like something you could eat, so I like it. Oh my goodness, that smells good. It smells like, I don't know, maybe some kind of candy or... It smells very familiar to me. I'll have to think about that one. It smells really good. Okay, so this one is called Kawaii. Now, the story behind this one is really, really funny. So she went to go, from what I understand, she went to go make her um, Over the Rainbow Bomb, <laughs> and she grabbed the wrong ingredient, and it turned pink. Something turned pink, and um, I guess her mixture, um, one of her colors turned pink, and she was like, okay, well, we're going to make something different now. Um, so it's just so funny to me. So this was a happy accident, and, you know, I'm glad because I'm getting, like, a different, not, she didn't make it for me, if that's what it sounded like. Um... I get a new and cool different bath bomb from Irene because she made a mistake and I love it. I think that's awesome. Um, so this one is scented in rainbow sherbet and pink fluffy candy. So it's probably pretty close to the over the rainbow because that's kind of what it started out as. So I think it's adorable so I can't wait. I think that it has more pastel color embeds. I think that might be right but I'm not 100% sure. It may have the same color embeds. I'm not sure but... Um, I think that this is just absolutely adorable. So I had to get one. <clears throat> okay. So this is, this is the the standby, the old standby for me. This is, of course, for Over the Rainbow. And that, that has a little different packaging. That's gorgeous. That packaging is absolutely beautiful. It's really pretty. Now, since I've had one of these before, I am going to the next giveaway I have, and I don't know when that's going to be because I just did the big Halloween one. I will put this in there. And, um, because, you know, when I order from her, um, I just like to get, you know, a little extra something, and um, I know not everybody can order from her, uh, so um, I just wanted to get something for somebody to go in a giveaway. So that's going to just kind of go in a stockpile and start for the new giveaway whenever that's going to be. It may be um, sometime in December is what I'm thinking. We're 
getting to the end. And this is another one of the boos. My second boo. Bomb. Oh, I can't wait to do those. I can't wait to do these. Okay, now, oh, okay, okay, so this one I've seen, she's had this one on her site for a little while now. Um, <laughs> I think this is going to be just hysterical. I think this is just going to be, oh my gosh, to me this shows her personality. <laughs> this one is called, um, this one is called Hungry Eyes. And I think this one would have been a really fun one for Halloween too. But I just wasn't ready to um, to place my order quite yet. All right, I got it. <laughs> I can already see him. Oh my goodness. She's got these wrapped so well. I really appreciate that because she knew, I mean, she probably does it with everybody's, but um, how long this journey was going to be for these, these bombs or how far, how far and long, I suppose. Wasn't that long. It was only 10 days. I'm not doing a very good job of this. Look at him. <laughs> Look at those eyes. How cute is that? Now, that's, that's a different looking skull for sure. I love those little eyes, it's hysterical. Look at the little teeth. This is one, this is one freaked out looking skull. I think this is hysterical, I love this. And he is scented, okay, let me tell you his scent. He is scented in lemon, lime, mandarin, coconut, and a little bit, little bit of vanilla. But I just think he is just adorable. He think he's got some issues though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> so I think that's it. I think that's all. Let me just double check the box. So I think that's it. Now, <laughs> I, this is uh, so, so delighted to finally get another order from her. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys is I finally, finally um, just made a Facebook page, um, an Old Mom New Tricks Facebook page. So you can go on Facebook and just search Old Mom New Tricks. And funnily enough, um, I do have my um, Whirly Blitzer is my, uh, the little profile pic. The bomb I did of hers that looks like the flower with the swirls. That's It's just so pretty. Um, and also, um, Hey Revelist, Revelist um, did an article on my channel, which is just so, so awesome. I really appreciate that. It's really cool. But um, even though it's on my channel, it's really about indie bath bomb companies. And that's what um, they asked me some questions about. And I talked about them and um, just how much I um, I enjoy indie companies and how um, people who have not maybe tried indie companies just really need to give them a try because they're just um, they're just so creative and innovative and um, I know that the big um, leading company with the, the stores all over the world and everything um, is probably the most popular one that most people have tried but if you have not tried an indie company you really need to do that because they're just they're terribly creative and um, they just have great products and they really care and you can get to know the owners and they just have great customer service so um, anyway if if you go to my Facebook page I would love for you to um, to follow that and then check out that article too because I was able to um, to talk about some of these different companies and um, kind of get their name out and I actually mentioned several other companies that just did not make the article because it probably would have been way too long but um, and also they're just and I'd like to also say thank you to the youtubers that kind of got me started with my channel or if there weren't the YouTube predecessors that kind of got me watching the other indie vendor 
like demos, I wouldn't have started my channel. So I give them all the credit that kind of got me to want to get into this in the first place. So, um, and you guys know who you are. The ones that I kind of, um, you know, look up to and um, kind of try to, you know, mold my channel to kind of be a little bit like yours so other people would want to try these guys and um, just really kind of get into this community. And um, so thank you for that. And thank you guys for watching this unboxing. And um, I hope you watch the demo. So thanks a lot, you guys. I appreciate it. And um, I've rambled enough. So we'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.